All right. I know back in the day you was a big USC fan. And the reason why you was a big USC fan, because of this guy right here. Uh, let me let me find him. Because of this guy right here. Reggie, right. Reggie, Reggie Bush, right? All Somewhat. Right. And, Some, uh, a lot of it. At the height of, at the height of my uh, fandom, I was a Reggie Bush fan. Seriously. And, and Johnny Manziel spoke out and said this past year he would not do any more Heisman House um, visits or whatever until uh, Reggie got his Heisman back, right? Okay. Uh, he, he spoke out about it. And, like, this has been maybe – maybe he said this towards the end of the football season last year. Okay. Reggie already has his Heisman. And do you think they would have a Heisman House commercial where, where uh, Reggie is trying to find the house and then Jenna Menzel pulls up and says, hey, man, where you going? And, like, I'm trying to find the <laughs> – I, I think I <laughs> – Hey, I think I made a wrong turn so well. I'll, I'll jump in. I, I'll take it there. Right, right, right. I think if they had you direct – I think I think in your mind you had a dream of that. I think if they listen to this uh to this podcast, they will steal your idea. I don't think they'll be creative enough to pull that off, but I will think if the Heisman House won't end at height, I think it'll be dope for them to welcome Reggie in in some, you know, grandiose form of fashion. That would be pretty cool. Now, if they did what you said, yeah, that would be dope. I can't yeah, that Cause you know they they, they <laughs> sponsored by Nissan, I think. I think it's Nissan. And right, like, you right, see how right. They got the cars in the background. Yeah. That would be cool if he pulled up uh, Reggie walking down the street like Sylvester Stallone. Uh, you remember he was walking and the police kept pulling up. He was walking him. home. It, yes, sir. Yeah, but, yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. That would be pretty. Nah, cool. it, it, you are you ought to put in a bid, man. Get them to uh, let you produce it. Well, hey, I'm, I'm gonna cut this and uh, and hopefully somebody will pick it up. We'll, we'll see. But uh, fair enough. Going for keeping on that USC, keeping on that USC train. Um, your guy, I say he's on the hot seat. Lincoln Riley, Lincoln Riley's won out of six bowl games. He's won two. He's had three Heisman's and uh, and and almost almost four Heisman. So you don't have four elite quarterbacks, and you and you won two bowl games out of six. You got beat by Tulane last year. He's going into the Big Ten where the conference is not finna play with him. He's like they're not the favorite anymore. Now they're in the middle of the pack at best. But th but that's why he's not on the hot Lincoln seat. Riley no, no, Lincoln Riley is not on the hot seat, and I'm gonna tell you why. Is you know it's so many. It's oftentimes we look at we look at a coach's win loss rate. You know it's about when you lose, who you lose to, how you lose, right? While at the same time, being on the house seat also has a lot to do with who's behind you. Lincoln Riley doesn't have another, you know, um, guy on his staff that can rival him, and there's not another hot name in college football just hotter than Lincoln Riley if he is available. So USC would be crazy to take him and do anything other than try to put a defense around him. Because based off what you're saying, Lincoln Riley doesn't play defense. Now, yeah, he gets knocked for not creating a defense. Not much different than somebody like, you know, um, I guess it would be Nick Saban not having the best offense. You know, Nick Saban is a defensive coach. Lincoln Riley is an offensive coach. You know, if he gets knocked for anything, it would be not hiring the right people to create a defense that can be leveled up or uh, give him some equilibrium with his offense. But Lincoln Riley, I do not see him on the hot seat. I think that's your hot take. I don't think based off his not only his contract, but his production. I mean, he's still kicking out first round. I mean, first overall picks. And the kids are competitive every year. So it's hard for me to believe that uh, Lincoln Riley is on any hot seat. That's my, that's my take. No, the one – the one reason why I say he's not on the high seat because that big contract. They don't want to pay all that money. It, it, it's too much money they're going to have to pay out, you know. But yeah. Yeah, what he, I will yeah. say, I don't know 
heard about this, it's been a mass exodus of defensive players that decommitted. Yep. And if you see that guy Juju right there, Juju has been doing a lot of things. It's kind of, kind of, I don't know Keeping how the hat. you want to say this. It ain't quite right. They not quite right. I mean, he he's doing a lot of stuff that look like he's trying to head towards um, this team right here. I don't think I don't think that's a I wouldn't say it ain't quite right. You know, it's it's recruit season. You know, Juju is a recruit. You know, it's nothing that he's doing that's wrong at this point, right? You know, he's a free agent basically. So, you know. Well, let me say this because I know you don't follow it like I follow this stuff. But he went on on three and he said, uh, and I want to show you this picture too of our old coach, Coach uh, Searle. Um, this big D lineman, USC was trying to get him too. He's on Colorado's radar now, right? Right. Now, I'm bringing this up so you can see how it all then. You got a lot of guys that decommit. This guy, he's on Colorado's uh, radi um, radar right now. And Juju is doing some stuff that kind of kind of make it. He got a burger now. He got a burger. That's not the burger, but he has a burger named after him in Boulder right now. And uh, and he went to a camp the other day, right here, and he had the Colorado towel stuck in his back shorts. But when he was on on three, he said he was committed to USC. He's not wavering. It's a done deal. So if it's a done deal, he go right here to the restaurant. <laughs> you can't see it, but he got some Colorado shorts on up on the table. Right, Why right. Are you taking a picture. I had to show your shorts with the Colorado if you committed to USC. And we got one more. We got one more. He's taking a picture with some buddies down in, I think he's down in Panama City or somewhere. And uh, he has a nice little hat on, little Colorado hat on. He posted <laughs> this on the Instagram. <laughs> so, hey, man. So, so <laughs> So what I'm, what I'm saying is, if Juju <laughs> flips and, and goes to prime, if he flips and goes and go to prime, you know, okay, hey, okay, everybody, everybody gonna talk a little bit, and a lot of these these five stars that's floating around, they might start going over to the prime because they following their quarterback. Okay, and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give you. This right here, you gave, gave me this draft right here. I saw this. You posted this a few weeks back. But all uh, the talent come from. The talent, a lot of talent comes from the Georgia area. So if we land the best quarterback. When I say we, I'm to my Colorado. If we land the best quarterback, all that talent is going to come over here to Colorado, and I think we're going to have a little party. I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to get real interesting. Well, yeah, that's the, but, but, um, but that's what you think, right? Um, I don't really live off of what you think, right? Because you said all the talent will follow you to Colorado. So uh, I don't even think a quarter of talent may follow you to Colorado. <laughs> but you, but that was a nice that that's a nice display you showed with Juju. You know that uh, you know, like I say, man, the young man he he's in a rare opportunity before he get overly scrutinized by transferring in transfer reporter right now he's still in the open open season right committing mean that i'm sure that i'm going to go either to this school and if anybody else comes in and can can shake me up he's available right i mean because think about it yeah it's better he go ahead and flip now than to get to the school and try to transfer in the portal now you got the now you're gonna get scrutinized in the public eye. So right now, go ahead and do what you're gonna do. You know, go to Boulder. You know, entertain them, entertain not only Boulder but other schools that still think they may be able to swim. You know, because if you pay attention, um, that's Prime. You know, that's Coach Prime. That's his hubris. That's Coach. That's his bravado. Right. That's his ego. That's his confidence. You know what I mean? I won't want. I won't call it arrogance because mm -hmm. I'm not knocking a man who believes in himself. So if he thinks he can get Juju to flip over to Colorado and he put his best foot forward, look, by all means, look, man, do it. And if Juju feel like that's the best place for him, 
you know, by all means, I would say, hey, man, he got to do his best for his career. You know what I mean? But if you're looking at Colorado's offensive yeah. line versus USC's offensive line, I don't know if it's a conversation. You know, you got a lot of pieces that haven't really been put together yet. But, you know, they're more on the table than just offensive oh. linemen. So it's going to be an interesting process, man. And I'm, and I'm glad you said that. You know, we, we got we got we got the number one offensive <laughs> lineman that came in last year, the Jordan Seed, and he done put on. We got we got a, we got a big boy that hit the Porter came in from uh, Texas. Then we, we got another big boy hit the Porter came in from Clemson. You know, and, right. and, and we got some more guys that that stack. Another guy that just signed, big boy, six four two of uh, three three twenty, I think three thirty. So so we coming. The offensive line is going to look real good. By the time you get there, the line going to be – it should be averaging around about 6'5", 330 by the time you get there. So so I, I just want to let you know, Andrew might need to start looking that way. You know, he might need to start looking over there towards the mountains. 